Uh, so my name is Aiden Mott. Uh, my husband John Recibo and I started Legends Creek Farm in Foster uh, back in 2011. Uh, we named it after one of our Australian Shepherds legend who we lost uh, back in 2016. Uh, we produce a line of personal care products. It started with goat milk soap. We've branched out to lotion, shampoos, conditioners, body butters, body scrubs, chapstick, and um, we're one of the top producers of uh, raw honey in the state of Rhode Island as well. Prior to doing this, we had insulation falling down from the ceiling. The windows were one layer plexiglass, and so all the heat we were using was just going right out. Not to mention in the summer, we needed to keep the AC cranked because it was so humid in there that moisture would gather on pretty much everything. So we applied for that $20,000 grant, and it paid for 100% of the cost of um, making that building energy efficient. Um, but now that the project is completed, we're using 60% uh, less energy in the winter to heat the building. And in the summer, we went from using the AC um, every day. I think we put it on three times this entire summer. Our energy bill is in the negative now. We're doing net metering. So we received our first energy bill and it was negative $36, which was pretty awesome. Uh, but it has me going around shutting off light switches because I want to see that number go up every month. When we got the project completed, we changed all of our packaging to indicate that our farming business runs on 100% solar power. Customers are certainly aware of it and we're getting emails constantly from people saying that they chose to buy with us because, um, because we care. Uh, so the first time we met anybody from the Office of Energy Resources was during an inspection um, for the first efficiency project that we did. I think um, that was the day that we had met Shauna uh, from Energy Resources and she looked up at our roofs and said, you know, these roofs are perfect for solar because they're uh, south facing. And it sort of put the spark in our heads that maybe this is something we should consider doing. She was invaluable helping us through email, um, trying to get more information on how to get that project started. Um, and since then, anytime we've had a question for that office, all we have to do is make a call or send an email and they've been great.